Rutgers football was pretty bad before uh, Greg Schiano got there. Um, what's the most important thing you have to do to continue what he started? I'm very fortunate to take over the football program that went to six bowl games in seven years, won five bowl games in a row. And to me, the most important thing I can do is, is take what's already a really good program and just make it a little bit better. Under under Shiano, uh, Rutgers made an effort to, to market a lot in South Jersey. They had the billboard of uh, Jack Corcoran on the Atlantic City Expressway. Um, how important is that to you, South Jersey? To you? Uh, I think it's critical. You know, it's, it's our home state. You know, we don't refer to it as, as North Jersey, South Jersey. Those are just distinctions for recruiting areas more than anything. To us, it's the state of New Jersey. And beyond that, the state of Rutgers. But South Jersey, geographically, is always going to be really important to us. You know, we've got some, some really fine players from there in the past. Guys like Cordell Young, George Johnson, Jack Corcoran, Ryan the Imperio, and, and on and on and on. And even today on, on this uh, current team, you know, we've got some really good ones, some fine players, some of them younger than others. But, you know, guys like Khalil Claude, Brandon Jones, Logan Ryan, some younger guys like uh, T.J. Johnson, Jamil Pollard. So it's a, it's a football team that I think would be very well represented by South Jersey. You're, you're at Delaware, but for the most part, you've been a New York guy, born in Bayside, um, high school in Queens, college at Iona, coached at Hofstra and CW Post. Uh, how familiar are you with South Jersey? I'm like the statistical anomaly of coaching. If you look at coaches and and the uh, and their resumes, you see even the, some of the gentlemen on my staff, you see guys that have had to move across the country multiple times to ultimately get to a place where, where they really want to be and, and hopefully can stay for a long time. I, I've never had to do that. And, and I've always tried to be very careful about the jobs I would take and the places I would go. You know, I did grow up in New York City. You know, I started, went to high school there. I went to college a little north of the city or New Rochelle, the same hometown Ray Rice came from. Actually, New Rochelle High School and Iowa College are right across the street from each other, ironically enough. And we got here the same year. Um, and then I got an opportunity to work at CW Post in Long Island and then Hofstra. And then three years at in, uh, in, in the University of Delaware, where it was a, a great experience for me. Still, comparatively speaking, not really that far away from where I grew up, but it was it was a, a great experience for me. It was a, a great university to work for. You know, but when I got the opportunity to come here and, and work at Rutgers, it was a dream come true because it put me at the highest level of college football. And what that did, it also brought me closer to home. Two things that very rarely happen in, in my profession. And he asked about our relationships and, and so my, my working knowledge of South Jersey. You know, to me, recruiting is about relationships. And, and we have some very strong relationships down there. Guys like Rick Brown, Dennis Scuderi, who worked in our office. You know, we've, I've been able to build a very strong relationship with Rob Henson at Timber Creek. That I think that relationship is, is going to go a, a long way for us.